All right, so we're down here off the Sabine River bottom and it just rained the last couple days, a couple inches. Um, we're down here and we're gonna, we're gonna send the drone up in the air and we're gonna scour over all of this timber and all this old pasture land down here to see if we can spot any pigs and then get the wind right and go in and make a stop. I'm hoping with the water running down through the river, I mean, the river bottom is probably about a half a mile this way um, that it's kind of pushed the pigs up off the river so send the drone up see what we can find stick with us be a wrap for tonight um, I literally have deer all around me and they're just carrying on and blowing so they know I'm here didn't get to see any pigs but uh, we'll give it a try again tomorrow all right so we're taking a break from spot and stalk for a night and we're in a ground blind um, we got three sets out here on this farm and this one in particular is the best one for the wind that we have tonight we got everything baited up yesterday and this morning at about 6 30 we had a pig on camera here we had a pig on camera but it on one of the other spots but it was late in the middle of the night last night so we're gonna give this blind a try tonight and see what happens stick with us. Well, I wish I had a recovery video for you, but I don't. So, the shot looked good. Um, he bled pretty good for about 100 yards and then it just stopped. And then I think, I'm pretty sure I bumped him and the rest of the pigs that were back there out of a little thicket and uh, managed to zigzag back through the woods and 
couldn't find them so you know, the pigs are a tough animal that's for sure so probably gonna maybe try to come back here again and look I just I can't imagine them not dying from the shot but uh, we'll see so we will give it a go again tomorrow all right so we're back out here on the farm that uh, I shot that boar on the other day and we came out the following day and looked for him ended up finding him alive and well on the hoof and uh, I couldn't get another arrow in him. It was thick and then he just, he got away from me. But uh, we're gonna get this side by side unloaded and go back here and maybe he'll show back up or maybe something else will show back up and we can get it done. All right, so tonight I'm at a farm that uh, my family actually owns. And man, this place isn't really known to have pigs in it. They, they travel back and forth through here every once in a while. But uh, my cousin has a deer set up back here because we do have deer in here. And lo and behold, he's had pigs on his camera pretty much every night, right around 5, 5.30. But he set up with a gun with a gun blind so i just went back there it's early it's only it's only about 2 30 right now and i just got back out of there set up a ground blind and uh so i'm you know closer within bow range of uh of the feeder uh there was actually a pig that i saw go through the woods when i was getting everything set up so we're gonna go back here and see if we can't get something done tonight Well, finally, after what seems like months, but weeks of hunting, uh, finally got it done. But, um, man, if there's one thing that'll test your patience in hunting, it's carrying a camera. And, uh, man, I've killed a lot of pigs, and usually it's pretty easy, but this has been the hardest thing that I've ever done hunting this has been the hardest thing that I've ever done hunting is harvesting a pig while on camera with archery equipment. Um, but finally, finally broke the ice and uh, super proud of myself.
super excited. Um, I can't wait to do it again.